and today I am going to be bringing you another tutorial and basically guys as you can see here I have my DSLR which is the Nikon D3200 I'll give you a bit of a rotation so as you can see there guys I will load this down for you so as you can see here guys this is the Nikon D3200 and with basic this is just like the stock lens that you really just get with it it's a really good camera though don't get me wrong and um, it has everything that you need for filming and this is what you're coming to hit you're coming here to see guys is how to properly film a video and basically guys there are there are a good amount of steps to doing this but I'm going to put them into top into the top five that are going to improve your quality overall so to start off guys what you want to do is you want to set your lens to about 18 millimeters depending on what you're filming most filming you can do close up so you want to set your camera to 18 milli uh, millimeters on the lens and that way you can get a really really good view on the lens and let's just move into step two All right, now we're here guys. On the camera, what you wanna do is just obviously turn it on. And here I've got all of my settings. So what I use is shutter priority and shutter priority allows you to mainly use every single setting on the camera. So um, you can change the shutter speed. I go for around a thousand because that's probably the best you can get it. Um, obviously you change the ISO sensitivity, I put it on about 6400 because it is really just like the best one you can use. And obviously, um, it's in picture mode at the moment. But obviously, you click LV for live view. And here you can see that I've got my camera settings really well adjusted to what I need to record. Uh, so I was recording a video with this before and Say if I want a really dark scene, I change it to about minus five and it really, really does get a really dark feel. I'll show you what I'm recording right now, guys. Alright guys, so you will have heard some auto focusing on this camera and that is one of the downfalls of this camera. So I have my own like little setup rig that I like to use. Um, I'll get into that in another video on how to reduce autofocus uh, noise distortion and everything like that. But basically, so what you want to do is on the top of the camera, right here guys, there's a little button with a plus and a minus and it basically is a brightness setting and you click that and it and it's highlighted down at the bottom and for a brighter scene you want to scroll right and for a darker scene you want to scroll left and obviously the more that the certain type of feel for the film that you are recording you want to like it all depends on what you're recording so say if you want to record outside you want a reasonably darker one so about 1.7 normally does it outside 1.7 is really good for outside but if you if it's a reasonably lit day um, say probably a little bit of sunshine but a little bit of cloud Neutral. Neutral is probably the best you can get it for recording. And as you can see here, here, sorry, as you can see here in the top right, you can see that I have 720p. 
and you might be thinking, doesn't this camera go up to 1080p? Yes, it does go up to 1080p. And one of the reasons I do not use 1080p is because you can get 720p for our focuses for you. 720p, 60 frames per second. And this allows me to record such good slow motion videos as you may have been able to see on my previous video. If, you've done, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave it in the description for you guys to go check that out. So, like you can see here that the camera quality is just perfect. The autofocus is just horrible. Well, not like it's in quality, I mean as in sound. The sound of the auto quality is just horrible. And I really, really do not like it. But, um... Yeah, so guys, if you want to know how to get 720p 60 frames per second, because when you first set up the camera, and I realised that, I'm going to put this down because it's um, like really heavy, because I've got some like mods, or like this is a sock lens, but it has a mod on it, so it's pretty heavy, and so it's like this. Alright guys, so here we are back on a tripod, and I will show you how to basically change from your normal 1080, I think it's 1080, 24 frames and your 1080, 25 frames and everything like that. I wanna, I just, I'll just show you how to get, um, how to change from the PAL to the NTSC. Basically, you just go into the settings. It's the little um, spanner logo there. You click video mode and change from PAL to NT, NTSC. And yet, yeah, it just tells you that you you can change whatever you want now. In movie settings, I have this all like this, manual settings off because I like to have auto. Manual gives you a lot more freedom in terms of doing stuff like this, I will show you. So obviously you've got 424p and 30 frames. You've got 720p and 60 frames, 1080, 24 and 1080, 30. 60 frames is mainly the best because you can record anything as going as slow-mo, fast motion, um, cinematics, anything like that. It's really, really what you need. But I just, um, I use 720p because I can, I'm quite good with my editing so I can really make this into a 1080p video if I really need to. But, um, so yeah. Everything's amazing like that. Now, I'm going to show you what I meant about manual movie settings. So, realistically, when you are recording, you have certain settings that, sorry, uh, you have certain settings where manual focus is what you need. So you won't be able to change this, but you won't be able to change your normal focus either so you go onto the side and flip down to manual and then here you can get a really 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 delicate focus on an object I will show you guys a quick little clip of what that looks like I'm sorry for the horrible 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 audio quality um, this is obviously the standard uh, DSLR microphone that you do get with the obviously with the camera built in but as you can see here guys we are majorly out of um, out of focus and here we are in focus fully in focus and um, you can probably do some little tweaks to get it more in focus but obviously because I'm using the can and you can see the light uh, bouncing off because I am using obviously a softbox you can really tell that the light bounces off it quite a lot. But um, yeah, as you can see here, the, the quality of how I film now is just overall way better. And once you start using the camera, you'll start noticing different techniques to how you want to record. But as I'm recording, how I like to record my videos are, are what I use is very good and like you can get a really swift motion on this and it just looks really nice
All right, guys, after showing you that, um, hopefully you got a really good understanding for what manual focus can really do for a camera. And basically, so um, if you do not want to use manual focus and you just really don't trust yourself with focusing yet or you feel that autofocus does it a lot better because you have something that blocks out all the sound and everything like that, then obviously I'm going to rotate my camera, put it back onto autofocus. And here, obviously we have the camera. And then you click on the little eye button, focus mode. Single servo is where you can press the shutter. It basically just means like uh, autofocus shutter. So like you hold, like you half hold the shutter button down and it will focus for you. And when you're recording, you won't know if you're, if you are in focus or even if you are, it's just tedious to keep pressing this all the time. So that is why when I click the eye button, I go on to focus mode and I like to use full time server, which is basically just where it will continuously focus and I don't need to press anything. So if I move my hand, you can see that all the time that green light, that green box with the little dot in the middle is flashing and that means it's perfect lighting, perfect like for everything. See here, where it's trying to focus in, it hasn't got good lighting. And here, now it hasn't got anything to fixate on. That's good. And now we're back in focus and everything there is in perfect focus. The, the logs for this, they just have to be perfect, dead on in center in focus and everything's good like that. I'll even show you with the cavalry twist and my hand is here guys and my other hand is here. I'm not touching the camera at all and you can see the focus on this. It really is magnificent what the camera can do on these settings. So guys, if you did enjoy this video and would like more tutorials on how to improve your DSLR video and phot uh, photography, anything like that, do drop a like, comment down below what you want to see and if I can help you in the comments without making a video, then obviously do let me know and please press the subscribe button as that would be absolutely amazing as I'm just starting off this channel and I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Peace out.